Well, the initial stretch of the so-called floating border wall is already in the Rio Grande, but not without controversy. Now we're getting a first look at the installation. It's happening in Eagle Pass, and it calls now from federal leaders to take it down. The first thousand feet of these orange buoys making up what is now being referred to by many as a floating border wall is in place. This is in addition to the miles of razor wire and in some cases empty storage containers on the banks of the Rio Grande and Eagle Pass, all being used as barriers to keep migrants from crossing the border illegally. It's all an effort from Governor Greg Abbott and the Texas Department of Public Safety's Operation Lone Star. Lieutenant Chris Olivares is a DPS spokesman. We want to prevent the drownings. Obviously, the river is very dangerous, so now having this barrier in the middle of the river uh, will hopefully deter some of these migrants that want to make, make it across the river. Deter, not stop. In one case, we saw a trooper instructing a migrant in Spanish to try entering through a proper port of entry, a nearby bridge. <laughs> No, not the bridge, the migrant responds. While DPS hopes the buoys will prevent drownings by deterring illegal border crossings, critics like Texas Congressman Joaquin Castro think it does the opposite. Those buoys taken together with the razor wire and the concertina wire, I mean, those are death traps for people. Do you think this sends the message to migrants that, that, that they should think twice before making that dangerous uh, cross? You can believe in border security without believing in being cruel and barbaric towards people. Congressman Castro says he, along with other Democrats in Washington, have now asked top leaders to investigate these tactics and to look into recent claims from a DPS trooper saying they're being ordered to perform inhumane enforcement measures on the migrants. The highest leaders in American government know what the deal is, and they need to use every resource available to them to stop this barbaric action. Well, DPS says that they will continue to monitor the effectiveness of the river buoys as they consider installing them in other parts of the river along the border with Mexico.